one, two, three, four at the time right now. I wanted to talk about the Mandela effect real quick. Um, a shout out to all the testimonies, the videos of people such as myself talking about the Mandela effect. I feel like my last video regarding the Mandela effect, looking back at it, in some ways I could argue it's a little too passive. And I say this particularly because there was one individual who was Mandela affected on the um, Fear and Angry Testimonies, Mandela Effect Testimony series. And at first I was annoyed because he was very angry. And then I realized in many regards he was at the other polar end of emotion with the Mandela Effect than I was. And I feel like in many ways, there's an equilibrium to be had in the middle. Uh, the Mandela Effect is more prevalent than ever. Four years in on it, I am not questioning if I'm crazy. I just know for a fact it's happening. And in a reality where you know it's happening, why are all these messages coming in? In reality where you know it's happening, goes crashing darn it so the problem with this is I look back especially with the last video I made and I think to myself I have to step back as one who's Mandela affected and remember not to be too passive about it not to be almost desensitized to it because I know for a fact people listening to this video who are Mandela affected this goes beyond movie titles. This goes beyond quotes. This even goes beyond our anatomy changes, the geography changes that are continuous at this point. It affects our interpersonal lives. And this I'm still processing, as I'm sure you many others of you in the Medela Effect community are at this present moment. My father with the Mandela Effect made a good point last night that it would almost be easier for there not to be a community of a bunch of us that sees this, for us to be one individual seeing this all and then, okay, yeah, we're crazy. Let's get some help. Or it would be easier if... It is a real phenomenon and the majority of people see it. Then you could have a kumbaya thing and people like really get together and be like, yeah, conscious evolution. In my heart, it's conscious evolution all the way. Um, and that's why my last video was titled Mandela Effect Evolution of Consciousness. However, that doesn't change the fact that I'm sure with the similarities we all have as Mandela affected individuals, this does not change the fact that reality in many ways has taken a raw, sour turn. On our interpersonal lives and um, I'm speaking definitely knowing for certain this is the case for my life um, and from the heart space I truly feel like anyone else watching this and knows of the Mandela effect probably feels the same way the person who turned me on to the Mandela effect was my sister and at this moment in time I'd be surprised if she even watched this video I'm in the community of the campfire, California, let alone the world's worst natural disaster of 2018, according to some sources. My sister hasn't even contacted me since then. And before that, there was a large strain on our relationship, let alone the relationship with my father and my sister, and I only say this because he's just as Mandela affected as I am. And then again, it feels like he's going through more intensity due to the Mandela effect than me. And that brings up my last point I want to make in this video regarding the Mandela effect when it comes to age. I'm 25. My father's like 42, going on 43. Um, I feel like 
And, and the old man that I listened to, he was like in, in his 50s or 60s, you know. Um, he was pissed. He was pissed because he feels like his reality was robbed from him. And me, when it comes to the interpersonal stuff and my family and all that stuff and just general community seeming so much more almost passive, zombie-like and robotic, um, I too understand that frustration and I shouldn't forget that frustration. But I shouldn't let it over-encompass me or corrupt me either. Like, I don't have much friends anymore. I'm not trying to create a pity party over this. A sense of loneliness is like heartbreak. It's more real now than it was definitely before the Mandela effect. But for me, it's different because I'm a young man. I never was a father, you know. I never built a certain reputation that was a longer period of time that all of a sudden seems completely up in shambles. You know, now everything that people have saw me as before, it feels like is entirely different, especially if they know that I am Mandela affected. However, it is um, important for me to recognize as a young man that when it comes to, well, funny enough, it seems like the majority of people who are Mandela affected and make these videos are definitely older than me. Uh, and a lot of that probably is because there's a lot more to process. It's like that old man being so angry. He was a sailor. He traveled the seas. He would always um, take his boat and drive into New York or whatever and into the, the, the docks there. And he was pissed because he knew for a fact that Liberty, the Statue of Liberty was on Ellis freaking Island. Not this separate island called Liberty Island. A, a, a man who had much more of a life. For me, it's almost easier to process the Mandela effect as a whole, but I also have to be careful and not become so desensitized to the fact it's happening because I was born in the early 90s. Um, <laughs> the, the, the abnormal, paranormal, everything, you know, that's the middle of the nanosecond for those that you know of the nanosecond concept in regards to the period of, um, the, the escalation of development and time, linear time going faster from 1987 to 2012. So, yeah. I just want to make this video as a reminder to myself and hopefully to anyone who this helps that just because you accept the Mandela effect doesn't mean there shouldn't be a sense of you that's a little pissed, especially when you know that your own reality has been violated. Now I say that word lightly because it's not about just being angry and I don't feel like the it's a whole government psyop, nor do I think it's CERN alone. Um, I honestly do believe it's conscious evolution, but that doesn't make it any easier, and it doesn't make it something that's light-hearted at all. It means that of the human experience, like the human experience probably always has been. It's the most difficult, and therefore the most amazing challenge that we can embark upon peace love and cheers casey